So here's a test rig showing testing of an ammeter and fuel gauge. I have it set for the fuel gauge. I have wire from the power supply going to the green wire on the gauge. The yellow wire is connected to this lead. It goes over to a variable resistor. The black wire goes over to the center post on the variable resistor and the return to the power supply is also connected to the center post of the resistor. So now what I'm going to do is turn on voltage. I have the power supply set to 13 volts and you see the needle rise because there's very little resistance so that's about full full throw on the gas gauge. And then I'm going to increase the resistance. Now you'll notice because of the way the gauge works it's going to go down slowly but that's not a bad thing. I've lowered the resistance a lot so you're going to see the gauge move quite a bit. Of course this is faster than you'd ever see it move in your car. Hopefully you're not burning through that much gas that quickly in a Z car. And then I can Increase the resistance some more. See the needle moving. And moved it some more. And you can see the effect of the voltage divider on the power supply because you can see the even with the resistance min, min, being held at a steady level, the current going through the power supply is varying, and that is because of how the voltage divider works within the gas gauge. So it goes all the way down. So we increase resistance, and it's time to stop and get some gas before we get stranded on the side of the road.